A lot of people have asked, what is the difference between Kinetic Text Animator, Easy Animator Pro, and Groove Animator? Now, these are the three programs that I've released over the last year and a half. And to answer that question, I think what I really need to do is kind of give you an, a sense of what inspired each uh, program. If uh, us uh, software developers are doing it right, we're trying to solve a problem. We're trying to create something that makes your job as a, a video or animation creator easier, or at least in the case of video and animation programs, right? So um, now all this Easy Animator Pro started its genesis was uh, wanting to create animations like this. I wanted to be able to quickly and easily create an, a particular graphic animations because as we've all seen, there's these big, there's collections all over the place of uh, often sold of animation uh, products, you know, but the difficulty in a lot of them is that even if you can't, uh, they're difficult to search and find something that fits your needs, of course. But another thing is, even if you find something, the animation is often not the right duration. It's, um, it, you know, it doesn't, it has things in it that you don't want, you know, and things like that. So I wanted to make it easy for you to be able to kind of make it your own. This is an animation here. What I did is I just did, I, this has a search feature. So I did a search for marketing. It came up with the uh, art that I have. There's a lot here. It's going to take a lot of time to load it all. But um, let's imagine that I was happy with this, but I didn't want the target. So I've already gone in, and I, what I did to animate this was, uh, let's, let's we'll just start from scratch here. Let's go ahead and remove this. Let's imagine that I've, I've been search. I want to click it. I clicked on the stage. And say I'm going to move it over so I can have a text animation over here that goes with this. So what I could do is I could break it apart and then let's say I don't want the target so I'm going to go ahead and remove that and remove the arrow and then let's say that is uh, it fits what I need. So then what I could do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of center that a little bit better and get rid of this and I'll go to a preset and I'll just go ahead and apply that and then I have some animation. Now I could do more elaborate things here. The, uh, what we have is we have the ability to use all these different animations pause and out animations as well so you could really delve in. In this case I'm just going to imagine that I just need this to be a 10 second animation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that to 8 and uh, actually what I should have done is done that to the state. So I'm going to do that again. 8 uh, ring and you'll now I've, I should have a an 8, eight second animation. So um, I mean a 10 overall because it's got a 1 second in and 1 second out. I could have export this out as an animation. I'll just do that. I've already done this before, but I'm gonna just go ahead and replace it. So it'll ask me if I want to replace it. Sure. Okay. So now I have an animation, and this uh, the export. This is just a segment. It's, it's a 10 second animation. It would be in theory a part of a larger animation. But what I've solved is the ability to quickly and easily find something by the keyword search and make it fit whatever I needed. And that was the key and main aspect of uh, Easy Animator Pro. And that started things off. But as I went and I kept adding and adding and adding features, it I got less and less easy. And it turned into be anything but easy in the sense that uh, there's so much here. And um, as long as you stay in the easy mode, it's a little bit easier. But, you know, in truth, it kind of got overwhelming. And I apologize for that. Just kept on adding stuff. Now, most of you may remember that I said I was going to be tackling a timeline with this. And, uh, well, the problem is, is that um, Adobe is backing away from Flash. And so I don't know that they're going to ever abandon Air, but I knew that it, it started to look like it was a bad idea to continue to invest too much in Adobe Air and therefore using Animator Pro. That inspired me to, uh, when we went on to, I, I found a new partner, Carvel Avis, many of you have heard me talk about him, and he's helped me with, or we've, we've teamed up together with Groove Animator and with Kinetic Text Animator. Now, Groove Animator was about trying to take whiteboard videos and add a little flair to it. I'm um, uh, just going to go ahead and quickly show the UI here, but I'm just not going to show much. Now, this you can see that there's a little bit of a relationship between this and Kinetic Text Animator. And in fact, Kinetic Text Animator's timeline is going to make its way back into Groove Animator. But one thing that we learned after Easy Animator Pro and Groove Animator is a very important principle that we tried to apply to Kinetic Text Animator. And that is the principle as said to ourselves, keep it simple, stupid. 
So when we uh, went to Kinetic Text Center, we thought, what can everyone do? Well, everyone can type. And so we thought, let's base it around something that's easy, and that's text animations. So we still have the ability to import video and audio and all that kind of stuff. We've done that here in this example. For example, I go, you know, photos. And even I can come in here and let's go, and you see I have another text animation. I'm going to put my playback head there. I'm going to go ahead and import that video that I just created in Easy Animator Pro. And you can see that I've actually kind of pre-done this so that the text animation would be over here on the right uh, and left, pardon me, the, the, animation, the image animation is on the right. And you know you can see that I've got a developing animation here because in Kinetic Text Animator, I wanted you to be able to utilize a bunch of other assets. Now, we are about to add the ability to add some relatively easy animation, uh, image animation capability inside of Kinetic Text Animator. But uh, Easy Animator Pro is far more elaborate, and if you want to get fancy, that's a it's a very cool tool, and also has the keyword searching of images and all that kind of stuff. So um, that is something that you you know it, it it's niche. That's what Easy Animator Pro does. A Groove Animator, its niche is whiteboard and kind of adding some flair to whiteboard videos. It's stroke based animations. We're going to be revisiting that and making it easier also. And then Kinetic Text Animator is where I really try to tackle a full timeline a longer video, but based on a core easy set of animations. And so that pretty much gives you an idea of what of the three apps are. Because in Kinetic Text Animator, what I thought was that um, we, we have a lot of photos on our phone. We have photos and videos on our phone now. Uh, and a lot of us have collections of videos and phones. We have a bunch of other apps. By the time Kinetic Text Animator has come onto the scene, you have other programs probably, and others that you use well. So what I wanted to do is complement those, but give you a place to put, you know, if you wanted to finish off your animation in Kinetic Text Animator or do it all in Kinetic Text Animator, you could. And um, one of the things that I found as I've been working in Kinetic Text Animator and other programs is that um, the ability to do a keyword search for any kind of image, let's see, I, that's how I got that image here, unsure. I just did a search, or I, let's say next I wanted to do um, happy uh, because I'm happy for the solution that I found or something like that. I could find images quickly and easily and drag and drop and I found that I was making my videos faster, mine, my personal videos, uh, faster when I was m mostly doing static images with animated text and people were staying with my videos longer because I could digest the images and, and the text animations supported what I was saying in my, uh, in my videos. And um, then I can embellish it once in a while with video footage or animations from Easy Animator Pro or uh, whiteboard videos from something like Groove Animator or any other tool that I had. But I found that um, as I was really, we were really starting to utilize Kinetic Text Animator uh, after we got through our beta period that um, this kind of approach with just text animations as the basis and doing everything around it was a recipe for me to get my videos done a lot faster. So. Uh, that is why we're continuing to develop a, a Kinetic Text Animator. We're finding that it is something that's accessible to a, the broader range of uh, video developers out there and really non-professionals as well. And so uh, that hopefully gives you an answer to the question, you know, what is the, um, the, the difference between these programs uh, here? And just go back to here. I don't know why I'm deleting everything, but... Uh, what is the difference between Kinetic Text Animator, Easy Animator Pro, and Groove Animator? Well, they all tried to solve a different problem, but I think Kinetic Text Animator has managed to be a little bit better of a tool kind of for everybody uh, and, and a complement to a, a wider range of video programs that are out there <clears throat> and kind of a place where you can even land or begin your videos and do a complete video or just part of it or whatever you want to do. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks a lot for watching this little brutally long video.